Hey guys, it's manager Kylie and in today's video I'm going to share with you some of the different equipment you need to play baseball or softball. So today I'm going to go through some of the basic equipment you need to play baseball or softball. This is just what you need to get started and a few extra little accessories you might want to add in. I am going to go through both baseball and softball and some of the differences in the equipment and I will have pictures popping up on the screen of different pieces of equipment for baseball and softball respectively along with links in the description if you're interested in checking out any of this or purchasing any of that or just trying to find something that you like. Like all these equipment videos, I would definitely recommend trying different things out, see what feels best for you. Everybody likes different brands for everything, so definitely figure out what works best for you. Uh, but I will have some of my favorites and some of recommendations that I got from some other people in the description down below. But if you guys are interested in more sports administration videos just like this, definitely the subscribe button, turn on the bell so you get notified every time I upload to post a new video every single Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern time. So the first thing when you think of baseball and softball you might think of is a bat. So you do need some sort of bat when you're a younger kid there's less regulations but as you get into high school and college level you do want to make sure that your bat fits the specific regulations length weight all of that um, there's definitely some awesome brands out there uh, D Marini is a good softball one uh, Easton has different bats there's lots of different brands that you can check out um, but definitely recommend some sort of bat this is definitely another one of those feel ones you might want one that's slightly heavier slightly lighter there's lots of options as long as you're within those different regulations. The next thing is a glove and this can be just dependent on what position you play. So a first baseman uses a different glove than a catcher, than an infielder, than an outfielder. So there are just like basic softball and baseball gloves so you can get one of those especially at the younger levels if you're just looking to play the sport. But if you have specialized in a certain position I would definitely recommend getting a catcher's glove if you're a catcher. Definitely that mitt has a lot more padding to it especially when you're catching pitches which are coming in at a faster rate. And and there's differences for all of this there's differences between baseball and softball I'm just recommending some of the different equipment but definitely check out the difference between baseball and softball gloves the next thing is for when you're up to bat is a helmet and softball most of these have face shields to them they don't commonly have that as much in baseball youth baseball does have some face shields so you definitely want to make sure you find the right one um, they have some have a lot more to the face shield some don't you want one that feels comfortable fits your head snugly as it is there to protect your head from the pitches coming in and you want to make sure that you can still see well out of it as well now when playing both baseball and softball you're going to want some sort of cleat there you can get either metal or rubber cleats um, it's very common for people to wear metal cleats to try to stick into the dirt I would definitely recommend checking out both the metal and non-metal cleats also checking out different brands under armor is one that makes a lot of different cleats it's just finding which ones you like best but i definitely recommend some sort of cleat it definitely helps you stick into that dirt especially when it's a little bit muddier it helps you to stick into that dirt and not slide as round as much now you may think you're getting all this equipment what am i going to do with it i would definitely recommend getting some sort of bag backpacks are definitely my favorite um, but they do have other bags that can hold your bats i like the backpacks that have the two bat slots on the side as an option but there are lots of options for some sort of bag to make sure you can fit your bat your glove your helmet and any other equipment that you might want to add in if you are a catcher you are going to have more equipment and i'm not going to go through the details of catching equipment but if you are a catcher you are going to have more equipment so you might want a bag with wheels on it that's a little bit bigger to be able to fit all that equipment another thing you might want is some batting gloves so when you're swinging the bat a lot batting gloves are helpful they add a little extra padding to your hands it's similar to like golf so you're not ripping up the inside of your hand so i would definitely recommend some sort of batting glove sometimes people wear like a fielding glove as well but I would definitely recommend some sort of batting gloves and once you find the ones you like definitely buy multiple pairs of them so you have extras in your bag as well. Now softball and baseball are played outside so I would definitely recommend some sort of sunglasses especially some sort of athletic sunglasses so that they stay on your head well. When you're looking up into the sky to try to catch a fly ball it's very helpful to have sunglasses. I know where my high school field was set up the way it was set up the right field was always right in the sun so it was really important for that right fielder to have some sunglasses on so they could still see the ball even when the sun was out so I would definitely recommend finding some sort of athletic pair of sunglasses you don't just want any average pair any average pair won't stay on your head the athletic ones are much better at staying on your head while playing sports you might also want some sort of elbow guard to protect you from the pitches so if you're a right-handed hitter you might want an elbow guard 
for your left arm or a left-handed hitter, you might want an elbow guard for your right arm just to help protect you from those pitches. Uh, it just allows if the ball comes in, it's hitting off of that versus hitting off your arm. It's going to make it so that you don't end up with more injuries or bruises on your arm, especially if you're a slap hitter in softball. I would definitely recommend one because you're contacting the ball that much earlier in the pitch. So it usually has a little bit more strength to it and a little bit more speed to it. So I definitely recommend some sort of elbow guard for both baseball and softball, especially when you get to those higher levels and the pitches are coming in at a lot faster speed. So that's some of the basic equipment I would recommend. Again, it all depends on your team. Your team might require you to have certain uniforms, certain different things. Um, so definitely check with your team, check with your regulations for the different sizes of bats and gloves and everything that you can have. Um, baseball and softball are obviously a little different on what they have, but I will have both baseball and softball equipment linked in the description down below. Uh, similar ideas for the equipment, it's just the specifications are slightly different. If there's any other sports you would like to know the equipment for, definitely let me know that in the comments down below. If there's anything else you like to play with when you play softball or baseball, let me know that in the comments down below as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you did, and I will see you guys next Wednesday.